For more, we're joined in the studio by NHK's former Taipei Bureau Chief, Makita Naoki. He has covered the past three presidential elections in Taiwan since 2012. So, Naoki, what's your impression of Lai's comments? Well, it may seem that Lai is taking a tough stance against China. But I think he has tried to tread very carefully regarding ties with Beijing. He said it's crucial for democratic nations to build a united front to deter China's military aggression. But at the same time, he said Taiwan needs to engage with China for mutual understanding. And he stressed that all his efforts are aimed at avoiding war. Lai once said he would be a pragmatic worker for Taiwan independence. So Beijing sees him as a hardline pro-independence advocate and calls him a troublemaker. But Lai has been very cautious and he has avoided such remarks since becoming vice president in 2020. His interview also reflected his sensitive approach in provincing the international community that he would not stoke tensions with Beijing. Are there any signals in his interview uh, saying that Lai will restore the relationship with Beijing once he's president? Well, I believe it would be a very difficult task for him to resume dialogue with Beijing. China's leaders have been refusing official contact with Taiwan since President Tsai Ing-wen took office in 2016. That's because she doesn't acknowledge Beijing's one-China principle. And Lai made it clear that he cannot accept Beijing's narrative as a precondition for talks. Beijing also can't afford to make concessions on this point, so it wouldn't change the cause. Now, Kui, what do you think will be key in gaining voter support in the run-up to the presidential election? Surely, China is still the biggest taking point. Recent polls show Lai of the ruling DPP typically dealing with more than a 30% support rate. But analysts say there is still room for the opposition camps to cooperate for a change of government. They argue that if the DPP remains in power, the risk of an armed conflict with China will increase. And they say they can focus more on improving economic ties with Beijing. But remember, Chinese President Xi Jinping has pledged to never renounce the use of force to unify Taiwan. And defense bigwigs in the United States say they believe China could invade by 2027. Lai repeatedly stressed that Taiwan should improve its defense capabilities with partners like the United States, and that would prevent China from waging war. Taiwanese voters are very careful about keeping a sensitive distance from Beijing, and they are closely watching whether Lai can really strike a balance to protect the status quo in the Taiwan Strait without provoking China. Naoki, thanks for your insight. It's my pleasure.